Welcome back to Football Daily. It's a controversial one for you lot today. Ten reasons to hate five-time Ballon d'Or winner and many people's favourite footballer, Lionel Messi. Wish me luck. 10. Lionel Messi Foundation By now, most of you will know that Messi has been implicated in various tax scandals, but what you might not know is that his foundation, which outlines its aim as improving children's health, education and sport worldwide, has also been indicted. The foundation, which was set up by Messi, his father Jorge and his brother Rodrigo in April 2007, has been accused by whistleblowing platform Football Leaks of issuing illegal donation certificates over the course of several years. The leaked documents show that FC Barcelona donated 7.5 million euros to the foundation between 2010 and 2013, writing off these payments as charitable donations. But until 2013, the foundation was not legally permitted to take advantage of tax exemptions for charitable donations. This effectively means that the foundation has been swindling money that should have gone towards helping children to instead fill their coffers. And Messi's clean-cut image has once again been tarnished. 9. FIFA Bias Messi is a fantastic player, only a fool would doubt that. He has scored an obscene 622 goals in 798 games for Barcelona and Argentina. In just 14 years at the Nou Camp, he has now scored or assisted 10% of all Barcelona's goals in their history. But what is also clear is that Messi is favoured by certain members of football's ruling elite, FIFA. In October 2013, then-president Sepp Blatter did a speech at Oxford University and was asked who he prefers. Messi or Ronaldo. He said Messi was a nice man who plays well and scored goals, before claiming one has more expenses for the hairdressing than the other. No guesses for who he was talking about there. Some would argue that Blatter is an old, corrupt official trying to impress a crowd, but it's also clear favouritism from the leader of a supposed impartial organisation that has to decide who is the world's best player annually. When Messi was awarded the Golden Ball after the 2014 World Cup, the few dissenting voices turned to outrage. Messi had finished as third top scorer, didn't score a goal in the knockouts and failed to lead his team to glory. More sensible choices would have been Thomas Muller, Manuel Neuer or James Rodriguez. 8. Messi fans Real Madrid fans are without doubt the most vehemently opposed to Messi. They not only have their own superstar in Cristiano Ronaldo, but Messi has defined an era of unrelenting success at Barcelona. When Messi made his debut in 2004, the Catalan club had only won 62 trophies and Los Blancos had won 10 more. 14 years later, a Messi-inspired Barcelona have won 92 trophies, two ahead of their El Clasico rivals. With such a swing in success, it is inevitable that Messi and Ronaldo's rivalry would come to define a generation. But both sets of fans are incredibly annoying. Rather than enjoying both of them for their sublime football, they are intent on constantly comparing and putting down the other faction. Messi fans put his passes, assists and goals on this impossible pedestal. Their arrogance and sense of superiority oozes through every statement. And they tend to believe that the Earth doesn't rotate around the Sun. Instead, the Sun rotates around Lionel Messi. 7. Retiring and unretiring Look, I'm not saying it would be easy to be Messi. Every time he steps onto a pitch, people expect, and no more so than with Argentina. Constantly compared to Argentina's golden boy, World Cup winner Diego Maradona, the pressure is immense. But whereas Maradona lit up the 1986 World Cup, captaining his side to glory, playing every minute and contributing five goals and five assists in the process, Messi is yet to take an international tournament by storm. In June 2016, Argentina lost their fourth major final in nine years in the Copa America, losing on penalties to Chile. Messi, who missed his penalty, said, For me, the national team is over. I've done all I can. It hurts not to be champion and promptly retired. You know what also hurts, Lionel? Abandoning your country. At only 29 years old, Messi was prepared to give up on his nation, claiming, I think it is best for everyone. First of all, me, then everyone. What an incredibly selfish decision. Two months later, though, he reversed his decision and since scored a further six goals in nine caps. But the image of Messi as an ultimately self-interested footballer remains. 6. Hand of God The majority of footballers have cheated at some stage. Whether it's diving, appealing for a foul, a throw-in or a corner they knew came off them, almost none are innocent, and Messi certainly isn't. During a Copa Catalunya match against Espanyol in June 2007, the Blaugrana were trailing 1-0 to their city rivals when Messi turned the ball into the Los Periquitos net with his hand. Messi ran off celebrating and despite the protests of Danny Harke and his team, the goal stood. Of course, the comparisons with Diego Maradona's goal against England in 1986 were drawn, especially as Messi had recreated his famous dribble that night just two months earlier in a Copa del Rey clash against Hetafe. Messi was labelled as a genius by his ignorant supporters and he nonchalantly claimed it didn't matter. Two years later, Thierry Henry was vilified for his handball against Ireland during their World Cup qualification. Henry himself claims it was as if I'd killed someone. 
once again proving the double standards around football's messiah. Agree, disagree with the video so far? Why not let us know on Twitter? The handle is on screen right now and you might even be featured in the next episode. 5. Spanish Snake Maradona was the living, breathing embodiment of Argentinian football. Not only did he win the World Cup, but he also played 10 of his 20-year career in his homeland, representing three separate clubs. He played some of his best football in Argentina, scoring at a rate of 0.6 goals a game there compared to 0.5 and 0.4 across his spells in Spain and Italy respectively. He has never hidden the fact he feels Argentine. But there is a feeling in Argentina that Messi doesn't always perform as he does for Barcelona. Of course, 0.9 goals a game is an unrealistic aim to match, but 0.5 goals a game which he manages for his country is a fairly large drop-off. Factor in that Messi has lived exclusively in Spain for 18 years, has a Spanish passport and has never played club football in Argentina, and you can understand why fans of the Albi Celeste haven't taken to their current number 10 in quite the same way. Argentine journalist Jarecio Garcia summed it up perfectly. People here have only ever seen him on television. He's proud of being Argentine, I'm sure, but it's as if he's a foreigner. 4. Drugs Cheat Messi signed his first Barcelona contract aged 13 joining the club from Newell's Old Boys and the understanding they would pay for his medical bills. He had already been diagnosed with growth hormone disorder, or GHD, that required medical treatments of $900 US dollars a month. The treatments were injections of human growth hormone, which is banned in almost all sports, both amateur and professional. Any athlete that needs special medical treatment can apply for a therapeutic use exception, but it is unclear whether Messi did this. The drug wasn't officially tested for by the World Anti-Doping Association until 2004, although it was on the banned list. There is no evidence that Messi took this for anything other than medical reasons, but it did help him grow 17 inches to his current height of 5 foot 7. But one of human growth hormone's many side effects is enhanced vision, which has no doubt helped Messi. Could Messi have got to where he is today without the use of drugs? What effect has it had on his development and current physiology? No one really knows. 3. World Cup Flop Big players are defined by the big occasions. Van Basten, Pele, Maradona, they all did it in the massive games. Don't get me wrong, Messi has played well under pressure. He has scored 97 goals in 121 Champions League games, and his 25 El Clasico strikes is seven more than the next best Di Stefano. But in the World Cup, it hasn't really happened for the 30-year-old. Messi scored just one goal in his first eight World Cup appearances. But 2014 finally seemed to be his tournament. He scored in all group stage games and was elected man of the match in their first four matches. However, he failed to register a goal or an assist after the last 16 and missed a few golden opportunities to win it in the final before Goetz's extra time winner made sure Argentina were runners up for the third time. Despite being both Barcelona and Argentina's top scorer and the only player to score 40 plus goals in eight consecutive seasons, many believe Messi can't be a true great until he finally gets his hands on the ultimate prize. Two spitting scandal. Cristiano Ronaldo used to be known, perhaps unfairly, for his playboy lifestyle, endless flashy cars and a string of women on his arm. Messi was portrayed as the antithesis, with a quiet, shy, respectful image who had married his childhood sweetheart. On the pitch, Ronaldo is often shown throwing his arms in the air, complaining at his teammates or protesting to the referee. But Messi is certainly no angel either. On top of his intentional handball goal, he has also performed one of the most disgusting acts possible on a football pitch, spitting. In November 2008, Messi had put in another outstanding performance against Malaga, but had been frustrated by an ongoing battle with Boccarone's winger Duda. After being knocked to the floor by the player, Messi got to his feet and with his opponent's back turned, spat on him. Then manager Guardiola said, It is not good to see these things happen. We will try and avoid this type of incident. Duda, to his credit, said it was a settled issue, but it still grates with people that Spanish football's golden boy avoided any retrospective punishment from his club or the Spanish football authorities. Typical. 1 tax fraud. It is perhaps unfair to hate someone because they haven't won a World Cup or because their fans are annoying, but it's not to despise them because of the millions of euros worth of money they have embezzled from the Spanish government. In June 2016, Messi was sentenced to 21 months in prison, along with his father, for defrauding Spain of 4.1 million euros between 2007 and 2009. They were also fined millions of euros for using tax havens in Belize and Uruguay to conceal earnings from image rights. 13 months later, the prison sentence was changed to a fine of 250,000 €1,000 by the Spanish courts. This equates to €400 Euros for each day of the sentence. But as per his new contract signed in November 2017, Messi will make that back in just over seven hours. Is this a fair punishment for a man that effectively stole millions from a government that is currently dealing with unemployment rates at over 21% and the third worst rates of child poverty in Europe? We certainly don't think so. Congratulations, you've reached the end of the video. Your award, the face of the poshest man in football daily. 
For more great content, why don't you click in this box here? And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe.